you see hoarders, it's like, that's all they've got. There was a whole closet downstairs with boxes never opened. <gasps> I'm so not doing that room. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. In a week, we're gonna sell everything that's in this house. We are the state liquidators. When someone passes away or someone goes bankrupt, a family calls us. Hi, Pat. This is Brad with Denver Gypsy Boys Estate Liquidators. And we come in and sell everything. The curtains, the couches, the clothes, the kitchen sink. We can walk into a house and determine if there's going to be a twenty dollars or $30,000 sale within half an hour. <laughs> We've got to make $18,000 to cover our overhead. At the end of the sale, we get half of the profits, so the pressure's on to sell as much as we can, as fast as we can. Estate sale people are their own breed of people. Ooh, look, we got people in there dumpster diving. You'll see them, you know, fighting over stuff in here. Well, call police! People are going to be fighting over stuff. It's going to be pretty crazy. That lady bought firewood from us. So then she started fighting with me because, well, there's some fence posts in there. She started screaming and hollering. I, I told y'all I want to talk to Don't you. Don't play the water game with me. Or I'm not playing any game. Yeah, I'll take somebody back. And then, then you, okay. deal, you deal with right. my husband yeah. and my son. Well, I'm going to leave. And I know you, I've seen that, I've seen that. The people that stick out in my mind the most are the people that change price tags. How much is that pink one? Four bucks. No, that's not four dollars, just so you know, someone changing price on that. Brad, he yells at everybody and sometimes can be scary. When I find someone changing price tags, I have no problem telling them they are not welcome and to get the hell out. You're being a bitch. Excuse me? Who, who runs this? Who runs this? What's I his name? I am the owner. You are really? Don't you're gonna, call me anytime. And you're going you're gonna to call someone a bitch? I said don't Sell be a bitch. This is my business and you all are a problem. So it's time for you to go. Get out. The most difficult thing is trying to get everything out and get it displayed properly. We organize everything and price it all. We still have to price this all before the sale starts. That part sucks. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All fucked up. No, it's not that. Yes, it's fucked up. It, when it comes to pricing, I know what's going on. Brad doesn't know what the hell he's doing. How much? Um, I'm going to say 55 dollars $45. Vince doesn't know how to price furniture. He always tries to price the stuff too high. You guys don't price those high enough. You don't. Let's do 250 What? You're fucking high. It's a piano. So we discuss it, and we usually come up with my price. And you're the one that put $30 on a broken piece of crap. Go. Brad, where can I put these? I no more them. picture frames. Are you crazy? When we go into one of these houses, we never know what we're going to find. Chains, more chains. Tiger. There's a lot of junk. Random pieces of old wood. But sometimes buried underneath all that junk, there's some interesting and valuable things. Look at all the rings. Oh my god, look how many there are. You can't just buy this anywhere, and they don't go on sale. When we hand over that check, it can be very emotional. Our clients, they sometimes hug us, they'll cry. The best part of the job is being able to dig through a family's history. You get to find things that they had saved that was a special memory for them. And it almost transports me back into that time for that moment. And then I sell it for like a dollar. <laughs>